North Carolina is also feeling the effects of Ian right now on the Outer Banks. NC 12 is still passable. That road is notorious for getting washed out during major storms. The crew spent the day preparing, trying to keep it clear for drivers. Alex Littlehales is in Kitty Hawk with more on how people there are riding out the storm. High waves battered the Kitty Hawk Pier on the Outer Banks of North Carolina as Ian moved through. Heavy rains and winds swept through the area Friday afternoon, but some locals are thankful that's all they saw. So we were fortunate this time that the storm veered off a little further west. David Green runs the Ace Hardware store in Kitty Hawk and says business this week didn't change much ahead of the storm, but tomorrow's customers might be in need of a little help in the cleanup department. Tomorrow might be more of a cleanup day where they're coming in for cleaning supplies. Others even use the storm to their advantage. Uh, I, I've never been in something that strong. Carl Niffen rode the winds from Ian to kite surf in the ocean this week. This is video of him getting major air from the storm's major waves. Got the, the wind coming from a certain direction. Yeah. And yesterday it just panned out really nice. The, it was the strongest wind I've ever been in. After the cleanup is done here, crews from North Carolina will move on to help the other states impacted. After the storm moves on from us, will offer more assistance to them as they begin what we know will be a long and hard recovery. The state's ferry routes are suspended until the storm has fully passed. On the Outer Banks, I'm Alex Little Hales for 13 News Now.